Um, hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm very honored to have the chance to share our work. Uh, the topic of my paper is multivariety uh, feature fusion for Android malware detection. I'll introduce our study from these six parts and give our conclusion at the end. Okay, the first part, I will introduce the background. Um, the proliferation of Android application has been benefited from the rapid development of um, portable electronic devices. Uh, as a byproduct, the number of malware has been constantly increasing over this year, targeting at Android-based uh, smartphones. According to the reports, there are about 12,000 malware samples that, are, that were uh, intercepted uh, every day in 2018. Uh, also, they found that the detection rate of malware has been uh, decreasing year by year. Well, um, this reduction is due to that malware is being designed and uh, uh, injected in a more complicated way, uh, implying that attackers has, have um, focused on better quality of malware rather than the quantity. Therefore, the corresponding detection should also be improved to adapt to that upgrade. Uh, in this work, we propose a model named MFF-AMD to address this above issue. Our model is built while a combination of dynamic and uh, static te techniques. Uh, we further implement a UI components testing scheme based on Android activity to trigger more malicious behaviors. And we propose for weights distribution algorithms uh, for base classifier fusion and experimentally conclude that the overall performance is much better than those of a single base classifiers. Here are some works um, by hybrid analysis, which often show better results than only static or dynamic analysis. Mm. Much study calculates uh, dynamic behaviors based on logs and some system parameters, which will introduce a computational overhead. Different from those work, we utilize a hook framework to uh, directly monitor the triggered dynamic behavior which has lower overhead. Meanwhile, we parse Android UI components to trigger more behaviors to improve uh, detection as much as possible to obtain higher accuracy. In our work, we extract a contributive feature between malware and benign applications um, based on static code and dynamic behaviors. We use Android malicious family or Android applications across four years to improve our model's uh, robustness. We analyze the static characteristic from the following aspects. This feature shows the different distribution of the symbol we extracted from 2015 to 2019. We can see that almost 168 permission features we extracted are indential in distribution on each dataset. Uh, though there are still some difference, our assumption is that the greater difference in permission, the stronger the ability to distinguish malware. The acquisition of dynamic feature relay, relays on the installation and the running of the Android application to detect uh, malicious behaviors that 
cannot be detected by static and analysis. Um, we do um, the um, domestic analysis from those three parts. And for feature selection, we use relief algorithm. The advantage is to separate the feature selection from the training process and the algorithm performs well in terms of time complexity. The key of malware detection based on dynamic analysis is the application's exclusion coverage. Our model um, does not intend to insert props into the application to calculate the code coverage during testing because uh, modifying code, uh, repackage, and um, other operations are not conductive to automate, automate um, detection. So we design an event testing scheme based on the Android view, uh, as, the, as this figure shows. We constructed the socket script through the activity information or beaten by static analysis and try to communicate with the view server to request the analyzed uh, result of the current screen information in real time. Then we pass the uh, result on the client and or beaten a simplified view tree that can uh, uniquely um, locate at layout information through the parsing algorithm. Finally, uh, through analyzing the components for formulate corresponding test events, we aim to trigger as many input events as possible. And this is the architecture of our method. Um, in the features uh, pre-processing stage, we use the relief algorithm to process the uh, features. And then we use file-based binary classification algorithms to supervise the uh, training. Uh, finally, we design for weights distribution algorithms to allocate dual weights to the file-based classifiers and obtain the combination of a pair of weights distribution strategy with the highest overall accuracy. Uh, for testing, our model first performs static uh, analysis on the application and then compare it with the threshold based on the score given by the classifiers. If the score is higher than the threshold, the detection is ended and the result is output. Otherwise, um, then perform hybrid analysis and finally combine the above two results to determine, determine uh, whether the application is malicious. The advantage of this game is the ability to ensure a currency and uh, reduce the detection overhead. Mm, to improve detection ability of our model, we adopt a strategy of emphasizing the base classifiers with uh, weight pairs. We focus on how to assign the weight to different base classifiers. We denote true positive weight as the detection um, accuracy of malicious um, symbols by the fuse classifier and uh, the true negative rates as the detection accuracy of benign symbol. Then the overall accuracy of the weights classifiers can refer to the these uh, following equations. Uh, where Nm and Nb uh, represent the number of malicious and benign applications in the symbol. And 
Nx represents the number of samples. Uh, for experiment and evaluation, we select more than 25,000 samples from multiply source and describe datasets in uh, alphanumerical format for uh, symbolicity. In order to verify the robotness of our methods, we tested uh, different datasets and the results are shown in this table. Um, the experimental results show that our model performs well for all datasets. This means that our model can handle almost all Android applications uh, without considering whether it is up to date. Um, meanwhile, our average precision is more than 97 uh, percent, uh, indicating that the detection result of our model has a high degree of confidence. We selected five related studies that have similar feature and uh, similar analytical methods. The results are shown in the table. Um, here of um, some of the score here uh, looks slightly better than us. That is because they were tested in different data sites and ores are more abundant. Um, I will explain the reason. Well, each occurrence um, here is obtained from its own data set. Um, because we cannot get all their source code and some of the their data sets are not such comprehensive on um, the dramat and the dramat data sets and the AMSU uh, data sets has a smaller set although the they obtain higher occurrence rate uh, will our data sets symbol are more abandoned um, to improve our uh, superiority. Uh, we also test our scheme on their data sets separately and the detection um, accuracy of our model reach 98.37% uh, uh, and 98.34% as the red number on the right of this table, which is better than these two method in the case of their own same samples. Um, in summary, we propo proposed a high accuracy oriented detection method of Android uh, malware um, based on multi-scale feature extraction and uh, classifier fusion. Um, it extracts dynamic and static features and is it proved to be effective in distinguish between uh, benign application and the malicious ones. But the result shows that by using or designed with distribution algorithm to fuse based classifiers, we can make, make up the unreliable performance of base classifiers and efficiently improve the overall accuracy of the model. Um, there are some interesting work following this line of research. Um, the processing of extracting dynamic features is still costly. Uh, despite we use UI view for dynamic analysis, it may be not able to perform code level analysis, which may result in the failure to trigger a logic relationship and deep malicious behaviors. One possible solution is to use a semantic analysis to enhance our model, which we we'll may study in the future work. And uh, thanks for listening.